Hey everybody. Um, this week we have another really cool one. This is benefiting Man Cave Leather. Man Cave Leather are a pair of Ukrainian leather workers and they escaped Ukraine and got into Canada. So they are new to North America and they couldn't take any of their tools. They don't even have a car. So we are, this is, you can go in the description. This pattern will be linked on their website. It'll be five bucks and they get all the money. Um, and this kind of matches the one we did for Balabanov and pirate goods. So we're going to have, we're slowly building a whole Ukrainian collection here. Um, it does look similar to the pirate goods one, but I have a pirate goods version made. This is bigger. Um, so we're going to get to making this. It's a cool one. It's got a double stitch line and we're going to use some Wicket milled leather. I'm still obsessed with it. You're still getting it on videos. I love it. Uh, so let's get into it. So this is how the pattern's going to come, nice and simple. This line should measure an inch, make sure you print it out at 100% scale. And there's no need for stitch lines or anything like that because there's no pockets. Um, you can use any sort of stitch facing you want, etc. Um, I have my sample here, which has like a shopping list on it, but I'm going to use that so I don't have to cut that one out. And I am using leather that's a little thicker than normal. This is about five ounces, maybe a heavy five. So you can use three, four, five ounce, whatever you'd like. Um, but you're going to want to err on the thicker side of three. You don't want to really go much below that unless you're going to line the flat. So for these little corners here, I'm just going to go in with my rotary punch and punch the hole before I cut. And this will just make sure that when we do cut, um, I can't see it. There it is. Um, when we do cut, we're just going to cut from this circle out so we don't have any sharp edges that can tear over time. Like this. There we go. So I'm making this out of pretty thick leather. Um, and I'm doing that because it's such a simple design that you can make it out of thick leather. The thing is, you want to make sure that you thin out all the seams. So we're going to go through and do that. Just as kind of like a fun exercise. And this is milled, so it's very soft. So the thing about wallets like this is that if you want to make a super thin one, that's cool. But anything as far as, on, like, it's a personal choice, but anything that has a, a snap like this, I like to have, unless you're going to line this, I like to have like a little bit of a, a little bit of substance. So what we'll do is we'll leave this full thickness and then we'll, um, we'll skive down these corners, this edge here and we'll skive down these two edges so that we'll have some nice thickness in the middle, but it won't be too thick because it's milled and it'll compress over time. Always remember that your wallets, if you're sitting on them in a pocket or whatever, they're gonna compress over time. They're the fluffiest when the leather's new. I did adjust my mix. I'm going, uh, I'm three quarters dark brown and one quarter light brown feebings. And that's only because I've been using a lot of this leather and it sucks the dye in a lot. So I need a little more dark brown to get the brown that I was looking for, but it's just, it's just enough to make it brown, not black. All dark brown basically looks black on this leather. So I'm going to do a little sky on this one. Nothing super big, because I want to leave a little bit of thickness on this edge. And I'm going to sky all the way up to there on both sides. And then we're going to sky kind of down to there on all four of these as well but I'm not gonna try to skive this out paper thin like we would on like the interior, like a pocket or something. It was hairy. So when this happens and you get a lot of hair, this is a very sharp knife, but it's just a very hairy part of the hide with the loose grain. Um, we're just going to go down here and then just trim that off. You can use your flat knife, you can use an X-Acto. For flat parts, I generally use my, or for straight cuts, I usually use the flat knife. And then it's kind of annoying for curves, but I'm usually too lazy to grab another knife, so I'll do it like little by little. And then you can also, the thing I like about this is you can do just like a press. You don't have to pull. 
Um, and that'll clean it up enough, you know, it just depends on the consistency of the grain of the hide you're working with. So the swallow has a nice big branding spot on the back, which is always nice to have. We try to build them into our patterns so that you can kind of whatever graphic you want to put on there. Again, still not bolted down yet, but we'll get there. Now we're it's time to glue everything together. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to go back to our pattern, just line it up, and this little dotted line, I'm just going to make a little mark on both sides. And that's all this is for, is to line up our corners here, like this. So you can use your cutting board and use the line to make sure that this corner and this corner are both coming out on the same spot. And then, if you want to get super fancy, which I may or I may not want to do, we'll move this up a little bit and we'll put our ruler down so that we know we're straight. And we are. So I'm just going to do a very light line with my scratch all. And you can double stick tape or glue this. Um, what should we do? I'm going to glue it. We usually we do a lot of double stick tape. So I'm going to scratch this up a little bit first. I have everything glued and I'm just going to line this up and stick it. Stick it and stitch it basically. So now we have, this is the back pocket. Now this is sized for cards. And I'm going to install our snaps. You guys have to do that a million times. I'm just going to use little brass snaps, like line 20s, I think. Then all we have to do is fold this together, glue it, sew it, and we're pretty much done. So let me get these snaps installed, and then we'll glue it up. So I'm only going to make a stitch line up to the top of this because I want one stitch to loop over this. And that's, all, that's as far as I'm going to go. So I'm going to mark this out here. I'm going to go up two. That should get me where I want to go. And go up two here as well. So for this little guy here, you can go over it. I'm not going to. I'm going to bring this needle up through, and then what I'm going to do is kind of like lift the glue and go under there. And then when I come up through here, I'll still be sewing this top, but I will have a nice clean look without my stitching going over this. So you can do it either way. You can also put little rivets here. There's there's room to put a little tiny rivet if you'd like to make a little more of a sort of an industrial Home Depot-y type, type tool belt look. So this is the design. You have a beautiful double stitch line and um, just a lot of cool lines to play with dyes and burnishes and stuff. And then on the inside, you have this pocket's deeper so it fits currency at the same level that it fits cards in this back slot. So of course you could put, the other cool thing is that you can pop this open and you can keep coins, you can keep cash, you can fit more cards. It fits like 10, 15 cards in here if you want to just stuff it full of cards. But it's a little bit more comfortable to hold folded cash and a bunch of stuff. Now the other thing I want to show you, remember you can get the pattern, this is a fundraiser. So this is, the pattern's going to be on Man Cave's website. It's a direct digital download. It's going to come just like this, and with this video, you know how to use it. It's very, very simple. Um, this is the difference between, this is the Pirate Goods wallet. So it's much smaller, double snap, and it has the thumb slider quick access on the back. This is much, much smaller. This is not big by any means. It's only four and a half inches wide, but you have a lot more room on the inside. So if you want a little bit more... Um, room to carry stuff, this is going to be your go-to. If you have a bit more of a minimalist carry, you only carry three or four cards, maybe some folded up cash, this one works. But they're both, I'm, I've just been trying to make everything so that 
you know, the, the curves are similar and the, everything looks like a cohesive collection because I know a lot of you guys are helping all our friends out and buying these uh, patterns. And of course they need to be useful. You know, there's no reason to just buy something you're never going to use. So uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for this one. Um, check out the first link in the description for materials, including the leather. Buckle Guy sells it. Second link in the description is going to be Man Cave's website where you can get this pattern. And remember, they get all of the money from this. I designed it. They get it. Every, they get it because we're welcome to North America. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I can't see, I can't wait to see your versions of this when you post them. And we'll see you in the next one.